I'm so hungry and I love food and I can't sing and I love snacks so eat with me. I got snacks in my bag. 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 I merely rocked in my bag. What's going on? It's your boy Snack King Cole and I am here <laughs> and I'm hungry. People, I'm about to jump out of my comfort zone. I'm going to try to. I'm going to really, 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 really try to. So this is a mukbang car bang because I'm in a car and I bang. I ain't car banged in a long time, but I'm going to do it tonight, uh, today, right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is all stuff I would edit out, bro. Like, I'm supposed to... I like to edit and cut. I think my guy, Trav, had a problem with this, too, man. Getting into the mukbang world, being a food reviewer, we cut and edit and stuff like that. Get straight to the point. This way, you're supposed to talk and get to know people and stuff like that. Whatever. Not really my cup of tea. That's why I'm saying I'm jumping out of my comfort zone. Shout out to homie Brenda Godfrey. We're about to go ahead and do this mukbang on this um, Panda Express. Panda Express. I got me a big thing of water because in about a 30 minutes, I need to take a drug test. Whatever. Let's do it. So uh, I did actually go on to go on to my community tab. And ask people, what do y'all even care to listen to me for this long? You know what I mean? Like, what could hold your interest? And I think it was like 50, 57% of the people uh, said, talk about how I got started doing YouTube, uh, food reviewing and all that stuff like that. Oh, Panda goes in, bro. Panda goes in. I did get the did get the orange chicken, which is a must. I cannot go to Pan Express and not get the orange chicken. Like, that's against the rules. <laughs> uh, how many items can I get, please? The chow mein. Uh, I always decipher between the chow mein and the fried rice, but I always seem to like the chow mein more than the fried rice. That fried rice is, you know, mean drier than none. Never mind. <laughs> um, and a firecracker chicken, which is their promo chicken of the day, week, whatever. Uh, so, I mean, before I get into the story, let me get, look, look at this big piece of orange chicken right here. I guess I'm supposed to hold the food up for y'all to see. See me eat. See, make sure it's all gone. There's not a little midget down here eating my food. Little person! Can't say that on YouTube. But as you see the orange chicken, this my, ha! Huh? Mmm! Oh my God. I don't care what you say. I thought somebody was running up on me, man. I don't care what you say. What you say at all. Pan Express orange chicken. I can't even eat nobody else's orange chicken. It tastes like it tastes like actual orange zest. And I know mm, it's Pan Express. <laughs> nah. My mouth, my journey. Let's try some of this firecracker chicken. I'm not very familiar with it. I was gonna get just two orange chickens or an orange chicken and a Beijing chicken. That's my that's that's getting on my hot side or beef and broccoli. It's always orange chicken plus one. You know what I mean? Whoever orange chicken feels like bringing to the party that day. This chicken breast got a little heat to it. I see it got some peppers in here. I don't know what some of this stuff is. Oh my god. It got a little spice, a little, little kick to it. Nothing too crazy, you know what I mean? I just did that's just a definite challenge. You know what I mean? If you guys ain't seen that, you know, take your time. Go ahead. Check it out. But anyway, let's get into it, man. See, my mama told me not to chew with my mouth open. She's gonna be very disappointed in this video. 
but mama, I'm grown, okay? I'm grown. It's time for me to leave the nest. I'm mukbanging now. Um. <laughs> so, I got started about three years ago, man. Um. It was the it was the mac and Cheetos from Burger King, and I think I told this story in a live one time. But it was their first time coming out with it, and I was like, I gotta try it. Hold on, let me put my let me put my little phone on. Do not disturb, because I hate to do all this talking, and somebody come in. Oh, now I can't. Now I can't. Now I can't get out there. Okay, y'all still there? Okay, excuse me. See. More edited out stuff. Y'all seen the whole reel. But anyway, I'm going to try to leave as much as I can in here. Maybe a little up close as a part, but, you know, not, not too much editing going on. I'm going to try my best. Uh, anyway, so I did the Mac and Cheetos. Um, I used to watch Dame Drops. Excuse me. That was, like, one of the first people I watched. That was, like, the only person I watched. I was like, super fish. Oh! I was I was a big fan of Dame Drops, bro. Like he couldn't do no wrong to me until he did wrong to me. You know what I mean? Not not to me personally. He don't know me for or, or owe me, but you know what I mean. That whole marriage thing was trash. I need to learn per portion control, so that way I can still talk and not be spitting. You know what I mean? But um. So I got the Mac and Cheetos, and I was like, man, I'm going to try these out for my people on Facebook. So I went on Facebook Live, a little quick live, tried them out. I think I announced that I was going to do it. So I had a few people in there. They was messing with it. So I was like, okay, cool. I can't remember what the next thing I did. I, I'm sure it was probably some Oreos, Swedish Fish Oreos, or something, something stupid. And I had my stepdaughter with me. So she's the only person in the <laughs> Jeez, <coughs> firecracker. She's the only person that is willing to at least try stuff. She's the only person that's willing to try stuff with me. Um, So that's why you see her in most of my videos and not my other kids. Well, you know, my daughter, she'll be there, but she just want to be there to repeat her Cali lines. But, um, so I started doing stuff with her, and then my boy Wheels, man. Shout out my dog, Wheels. Uh, he was like, man, you should go to YouTube. I was like, man, I got a pretty big following here. I got a pretty good following. People keep hitting me up, telling me to go ahead and try stuff. So, boom, I get all y'all on YouTube. I'm going to blow up. The next thing I know, Dane going to be hitting me up. Dane Drop's going to be like, Dane, you are super visual. None of that happened, by the way. Um, so I get to YouTube, and it's a whole new world, man. You know what I mean? I'm I'm setting up production and stuff like that. I'm trying to get right lighting. I'm trying to I'm trying to get get the get the humor and all that stuff out of there. Like if y'all can see some of my first videos, man, go ahead, go ahead, go go to my go to my videos, man, and just go ahead and go to the first watch or first review ever. I might just post a link for y'all just to see, just to see. I want some of y'all to see like the steps I've taken <laughs> since then. And I had all my teeth too. So, it, you know what I mean? It was pretty cool to watch. But I started getting around, man. Started moving around. Started finding people I like, man. Then shout out to my guy, man. Uh, half empty. Half empty, man. Rest in peace, man. My dude uh, saw me at RDR. And shout out to RDR, man. RDR was pushing me, bro. RDR was pushing me. He was putting me in his uh, in his community tab. He was shouting me out in all his lives and stuff like that, man. So shout out to RDR. But RDR got me put put on the half empty, and half empty was schooling your boy. Like that was some of my. That was like I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. That was like when my first collab, and uh, 
and he was just showing me how to do it and how to go ahead and you know, set up the thumbnails and all that stuff like that, man. He, he's a lot of the reason why I know some of the stuff I knew going forward, you know? Uh, I've been through my frustrating phases. Can y'all see me? Look at I'm, I'm ugly anyway. <laughs> I've been through my frustrating phases where I just want to quit. You know what I mean? I see other people moving on and moving on and moving on. And I got to wanting to quit. And so there, there'll be times like when I first started, I'd upload maybe like once a month or something like that. You know what I mean? And then I'd be like, oh, I got to work. So I go like a week and I would just upload. But then... Um, it was just, it was just kind of hard for me, man. My my I think my mind wasn't really in it because I felt like I was gonna I felt like I was supposed to blow up. You know what I mean? Everybody kept telling me it's so easy. I had like 900 friends on Facebook at the time. I only got 100 subscribers. It don't make sense to me, bro. Uh, I started looking at friends crazy. Like, are you sub to me? Then don't call me. Don't don't call my phone. <laughs> I was such a diva. Um, but you know, I started getting in the community. And besides battle rap, like YouTube is and wrestling. YouTube wrestling and battle rap. That's pretty much the only stuff I watch on on YouTube. I might I might I might uh did I say YouTube? Food reviews, battle rap, and wrestling is the only things I watch on YouTube because uh, everything else is just kind of like one-offs. But those are the things like I super enjoy. You know what I mean? I uh, started messing around with the Thick and Chunky show, man. Um, started messing around with Dayton. Excuse me. Um, Dayton got a hold of me early too, but if you guys know, man, Dayton, that's what Dayton does. Dayton's like a, a, a food review scout or something like that. Like, I don't I don't know. I don't even think he watches, like, the big people no more, man. He just watches new recruits, man. He's he's going to have, like, a, a review tutoring school soon. Watch. So, damn, you know what I mean? Off and on, off and on for a couple of years. Um, being in the review crew is what got you this Snack King Cole right here. But Snack King Cole is trying to upload as much as possible. Because when you got a, a, a machine behind you and a bunch of people behind you that's working... You know what I mean? Shout out Ben. Shout out Dub. Shout out Hoosier. Shout out shout out everybody in the review crew, man. Cause I don't see nobody slacking on a Mackin. You know what I mean? And it makes you want to try. It makes you want to go. And then you got us. You know, we always be in the group chat. Let's collab. Excuse me. I'm sorry for burping. Let's collab. Got me eating Panda Express talking to y'all about nonsense for 13 minutes, and I'm not supposed to edit this. It might be an easy pick if I don't got to edit. <laughs> Intro, outro, bye-bye. You know what I mean? Mmm. Mmm. But, yeah, man, shout out to Brennan Godfrey, man. We, we were supposed to actually do this. Oh, if you didn't know, that was the end of the story. The rest is history. Did I say that part? <laughs> um, uh, shout out my girl, Brenda, Brenda, God, Brenda Godfrey. We were supposed to mukbang uh, beforehand, uh, but I was broke. <laughs> I'm just keeping it being. I think she wanted to do teriyaki, or we we talked about teriyaki, and then I, I was going to do it, and then I was like, yeah, I'm broke, and then she took her break, uh, you know what I mean? And when she felt ready, you know what I mean? I was like, okay, we can go. Shout out her. Shout out Ash Lupino. Pretty much the only two mukbangers I really watch. Um, I, I've been putting like mukbangers on in the background a little bit because I, I, I am getting friendly with a few of those. 
You know, I try to show support because I, I see them supporting me, you know? So even if I'm not, like, trying to sit here and watch you smack your food, I can at least put you on and give you the view, right? Easy money. Supporting people on YouTube is probably the easiest support you could really do, bro. I will never for the life of me understand why the hell y'all can't just support your YouTube friends. Even if you don't like their content. You know, minus them being like weirdos and stuff like that. I don't know why you're friends with them anyway. But, uh, I mean, like, bruh, it's a free app. It's a free button. And it's a free like. Like, boom, boom, boom. You just moved your friend up in the algorithm. Just that quick. I, I, go, to, I go to people's channels and I try to hit the like when I get there. Because I tend to forget. But likes help out. This one chicken looks like I got one hiding right there. I got one hiding in the noodle. <laughs> I'm like, that's, you know, marinate. Marinating them noodles, baby. Mmm. When I pick it up, it's going to look like Swamp Thing. Yeah, man. I don't know what else to talk about. You guys want to talk about my new job? <laughs> I'm about to go do this drug test, man. Um, I live in I live in Washington, so I don't know for every job. I'm sure, like for them big, big, big wigs and stuff like that, it doesn't matter. But jobs out here don't test for marijuana since it's legal. So I should not have a problem. I hope. <laughs> Nah, I heard that from HR's lips to my ears. So we Gucci. Um, it's it's a it's a telecommunications job selling lines of business. I used to work for uh, Comcast and did that there. Uh, hold on, let me time check this joint. Okay, thirty out. We out of the street. We around the corner from the spot. Plus, I gotta, I gotta try to find a way to pee. Um, I used to work at Comcast. Now, what sucks about Comcast, which is cool, but it sucks. They give you all your time, right? Your vacation, your PTO, everything. They tell you in training, the number one reason they have to fire people is not because of their performance; it's because of their um, attendance. Because what happens is, what happens is, people will use all their time and then be tardy one day and get fired. Let's see if y'all can guess what happened to me. <laughs> Take me out to the back of the lid. Shoot me in the back of the hair. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. Y'all not gonna tell me I just spilled this all on my shirt? Mm. So, I'm hoping it's pretty much the same thing. My company that I'm about to work for now is not as um, popular, I'd say, as Comcast, obviously, but everybody can bounce out of Comcast. You know what I mean? That's what I learned. Everybody bounce out of Comcast. They think they can come back and get a new contract, everything. You know what I mean? They get that new customer special. So when they get that, when they're when they're looking to come back, when they're looking to leave, before they come back, they got to go somewhere, right? That's where I come in. Then I don't need you to stay. I just need to get paid. Do whatever you want. You grow. Mmm. Mm. Told you. Ah! <laughs> hey, that's a weird thing too, man. Like, I'll be watching mukbangers. They be like this. Like, why are you staring at me while you eating? You making this awkward. 
Maybe it's intimacy. I don't know. Mm. But him. That's him. I'm full. I'm full. You guys going to see this. Uh... I don't know. We reaching, man. But I got a lot of stuff going on today, man. You're going to see this shirt a lot this week. You know what I mean? Including probably uh, the day of shooting this. Because I got to run up here to Taco Bell after I'm done here. Because this Taco Bell, that's what I came for. It was Taco Bell. I was going to do this after the piss test. <clears throat> but this Taco Bell right here doesn't take online order. And like, come on! Get with the times, I mean. Jesus. But I hope I wasn't too random. I hope I did uh, the mukbang, car bang community uh, a little bit of justice. Hope I didn't look like a, a complete poser. Uh, and that's it, man. That's it, man. Shout out Brenda. Make sure you go check out her page. All her links will be underneath the description box or pinned in the comments. I'm going to make sure y'all know, man. Shout out my girl. She back. She back and she been putting out content. Uh, got me trying to keep up. Excuse me. Shout out the review crew. Shout out my mama, I guess. You know what I mean? Shout out the kids. I don't know, man. It's your boy Snack King Cole. I'll try it before you buy it. I tried it. Go bang it. I got the baby roof and all the Kit Kats too. So if you got a sweet tooth, holla at me, dude. <laughs> <laughs>